is I um I wouldn't mind. You know, I'm very interested in trying San Francisco out. That's a lot of people up there. Yeah, I would like to try that place. San I like Francisco, that place. I went uh, in 85, I lived in San Francisco for about six months. Tell me about it. What was that like? I lived in the Tenderloin when the motherfucking oh, yeah. Tenderloin was the Tenderloin. <sighs> And I'm going to be honest with you, Mike. It's rough, it was, huh? <laughs> in 1985, I was a bartender at a club called Rockin' Robins on Hayden Ashbury, all the way at the end across from a Burger King. I think the Burger King or the McDonald's is still there. So <laughs> at night, I would have to take the bus back to whatever the fuck, Market Street, Mission, whatever the fuck it was. I saw more violence in six months in San Francisco in 1985 than I saw growing up in New York. Really? All those years. I saw a black dude and a white dude fighting. The white dude had a stick and the brother had a sword. Holy and shit. And he cut the white dude in the arm and there was blood Fuck. fucking everywhere. I saw another guy stabbed open in front of Original Joe's in a tenderloin in 85. And this is the best one where I was getting nickel bags. One day I go in there and there's a bunch of cops and the cops said, turn around and leave. They were waiting for Rick, who was this night stalker. That's where he was buying nickel. Yeah. That's where he would stay at that hotel. They took the door from that hotel. Rick, Ramir Ramirez. Richard Ramirez. Yeah, yes. Ramirez. He took, they took the door off because he wrote ACDC. The creepy guy with the hook. long hair. Yeah, right? and then they beat him up when he got off the bus <laughs> in East oh, L.A. Yeah, the up. Mexicans got they him and they him fucking, up. they narcoed him to death right here in East L.A. somewhere. Then the cop he was came, in that neighborhood. They beat the shit out of him. They had a fucking coffee shop called Coffee Ron's. It was topless fucking coffee. You go in there and there was chicks topless, all crack holed up and shit, with fucking intravenous veins on their titties oh, and shit. Oh, Because I went to um, this is what I'm interested in doing too with my um, cannabis company. You know, in San Francisco they had um, smoke shops. There smoke so you could sit down and smoke your you could sit down and smoke your weed. Then. Like a lounge. Lounge, yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah, very, Mike's very got one of those in the works looking, too. Very distinguished looking lounge.